Next question is from Jay Emke. I have some nagging pain in my knees and shoulders, which goes away when I work on those areas in the gym, but comes back the next day. Why does it feel better when I'm working on these areas versus when I'm resting them? There's a classic case Good question. of poor uh, recruitment patterns and bad movement patterns. So when you start to move a muscle and, you know, quote unquote, warm it up, um, you do get some some localized painkillers that get released from that in that area. Um, there's receptors in the muscles and in the body that can actually that will you know you get an analgesic effect. Yeah, they send pain, but you you start to release these painkillers as you start to move. This is an evolutionary trait, right? Mm -hmm. It's like if you start to move and you need to be able to move, that your body's like, okay, let's numb the pain. Right. So that We're going to localize this. Continue yeah. to move. Um, the other thing too is as you're doing the exercises, you might temporarily improve your movement pattern within that workout. So now you start to feel better. But if you don't change those movement patterns uh, permanent, then you're going to start to have pain later on. Now this part, of, I had something like this with uh, really bad tennis elbow. This is back when I was doing a lot of jujitsu and judo, which involved lots of gripping um, on the gi. And I started to get really, really sore, you know, elbows. This is the top of the forearm, right? Where the forearm muscles attach at the elbow. So it's like the sides of the elbows. And it was just it was so nasty. It was so painful. And it would take me like 15 minutes into my workout to not feel them anymore. But then, you know, later on when I cooled down and everything, the pain came back. Came back. So what I had to do was some correctional exercise. I had to do some myofascial release or some deep tissue massage to solve it uh, permanently. Otherwise, it was always this 15-minute warm-up before I could, you know, start to feel better. So that's kind of what's happening to you. I would say focus on correctional exercise for a little while to fix yeah. this problem. Yeah. Yeah. In my experience, a lot of times this is, you know, just joint stability, right? So when you, especially when you're talking about the knee and the shoulder, so you're talking about a, a floating joint and then a ball and socket joint where very easily those can be off just a tiny bit. So you've got all these muscles around those two joints that help support it and are supposed to be keeping it in the, in the perfect position. But in reality, it's never like that. In reality, we're all kind of imbalanced a little bit. And so that joint is not in an optimal po position or is not being supported by all the muscles. So there's a lot of instabi instability in that joint. And that causes like this bone on bone rubbing sometimes and causes this chronic achy pain. Then you start working out and all those muscles that are surrounding that joint get woken up and now are working. And now it kind of holds it in place and then it doesn't hurt anymore so much. Yeah. So I've that's what I normally experience is a lot of times the clients just don't have really good stability and control in that joint. This is what Prime Prime and Prime Pro is all about is getting you to kind of activate all those muscles that support those joints. Yeah, and this is why I'm always reiterating the importance of repeating uh, those good patterns as much as possible. And that's why we have that in the program is, yeah, you've done the exercise, but it doesn't just stop there. It's something you got to be conscious of throughout the day because I'll have clients that will end up back, you know, revert back to their, you know, their, their other position where uh, they're not paying attention to their posture. They're not pay paying attention to the way that they're lifting objects uh, just around their house. Uh, but they are very present in the workout. And so they're able to then, you know, adjust their, their posture. They're able to adjust and, and squeeze specific muscles to create that stability, which you talk about. And so you, you they don't, ex, they don't feel the pain, uh, you know, in the workout quite as much, but then, you know, th when they go back to their right everyday life, uh, th they don't address those things in their, their own lifestyle. And so this is where it kind of sneaks back and never really gets solved or, or addressed. And so this is a, this is a root issue uh, that that really needs a lot more attention than you think. Uh, to to be able to repeat uh, these these specific types of movements as much as possible it doesn't have to be super intense either. It's just on your mind constantly. Uh, you know, for weeks, months, you know, even a year sometimes, depending how severe uh, you know this pattern is hardwired. In, you know, into your mindset. And it's very normal for to see this creep in and out of your life forever. Like, so I, I'm dealing with stuff on my left shoulder right now of the same. And I know that I know that it's a, a stability issue. And so I'm doing all this work right now to, to regain it. And I can't tell you, and which frustrates the shit out of me, being somebody who's so in tune with his body to have this. And I know these guys can relate. Like, there's nothing worse 
than this being our our wheelhouse and then getting like nagging pain and then oh, trying yeah. to be able to like, mm-hmm. what the hell? Why is this bothering me right now? Now, I know the things I need to be doing, but like Justin's saying, there's something going on in my lifestyle that's caused that that instability and that it's causing this nagging pain in my shoulder that I need to get to the bottom of so I don't so I don't have anymore. And it's the exact same feeling too. When I get into my shoulder workout, it's my shoulder that bothers me. Once I start working my shoulders, it goes away for the workout and then it doesn't start to come back till later on. And I know that I've got to put more work into getting myself in a better alignment, getting better shoulder stability, which is all of our shoulder mm-hmm. stuff in Sign Prime Pro. 